Sexy show out. Dave, I don't know if you've heard about this. Celebrities are entering the world of competitive diving. Oh boy. Ouch. Jersey Shore star Jay Wow made a big <laughs> splash and now says she has back trouble because of that. So in today's edition of Doc Hollywood, I sat down with Dr. Robert Morgan. He's an orthopedic spine surgeon at Regions Hospital to find out what that means and how the health of your back can affect your whole body. I'm here with Dr. Robert Morgan. He's an orthopedic spine surgeon at Regions Hospital. Nice to see you, Dr. Morgan. Hello, hello. You know, a lot of people dealing with back troubles. Our own Ricky Rubio, no different. He's recovering from back spasms. He had to sit out a few games. So we got to ask you about back spasms. What are they caused by and how do you get over it? Well, a back spasm is typically a symptom more so than the actual problem. It's often a problem of mechanics. And as you know, Ricky Rubio recently underwent uh, knee surgery. Until he's really fully recovered his ability to run and stand and walk, he's gonna be at risk for back spasm. What do you do if you have one? Resist the temptation to just lay down. Because oftentimes if you become immobile, the spasms get much worse. So you wanna keep moving. But if those spasms continue, if they don't get better on their own quickly, that's something you really ought to see a doctor about. Supercross star Trey Kennard, he's returning to his bike after suffering a severe spinal injury. It happened last year. There was one immediate and successful back surgery. Two days later, they repaired three broken vertebrae on the spine and then took some pressure off the spinal cord. But broken vertebrae sounds pretty intense. How do you go about repairing something like that? Initially, what we do is try to say, well, can we line things up without doing surgery and let them heal on their own? Sometimes we use a brace. Uh, particularly for pain control. In his case, he actually, once they got an MRI, saw that there was uh, some pressure on the spinal cord. And even though his legs were working, even though everything was working just fine, if they didn't operate, he would be at risk of being paralyzed. Pretty incredible to see that type of injury and then say he's gonna be able to go back on his bike. Well, I think that's a wonderful message though. And I think, I, I wish him all the success moving forward because that's when, when things work right, that's what you should expect. And Dr. Morgan, you were a surgeon in Iraq. What kind of work were you doing when you were there? I was a trauma pod. I was an orthopedic surgeon assigned uh, to the Marines in Iraq to fix broken folks. And had not only run-ins with lots of activity there, I'm sure, but Chuck Norris showed up one day. They brought him by to, to visit all the uh, injured Marines and the sailors that were there, and uh, they really appreciated it. I can tell you uh, that, that really meant a lot to all the folks who were there. And uh, he and, uh, and his partner on this trip, Marshall Teague, uh, just great Americans. Obviously something you want is I'm sure to not see people often. You'd like to see them stay healthy and their backs in good shape. Any advice for people to um, to help their backs stay healthy and non-injured? We don't want to lift too much. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to uh, wear shoes that don't fit well and affect our gait because how we stand and how we walk affects how our back feels. Very important to have good nutrition, to eat well, uh, get a balanced diet, calcium, vitamin D, and stay active. Keep moving, weight-bearing exercise, walking, cardiovascular fitness, all very important for maintaining good back health. And I heard the ballroom dancing instructor who works with you and your wife was very impressed with your posture. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Morgan. You. Appreciate it. He's a great guy. If I ever have back trouble, that's the guy I'm